Hi everyone, welcome to Max's Mad Mythic Mercenaries, presented by Arbitrary Hero. I am your substitute DM Cameron. Normally I play Wilhelm Swingpike. Uh, I'm here to run a game of Dungeons and Dragons uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist for my friends. Uh, we're going to start out giving everyone a chance to introduce themselves and who they play. And the icebreaker question of the day is, uh, what is the thing your character wants to do most while they are in Waterdeep? Uh, starting out, Nate, who are you playing and what do they think about? Or, no, who are you playing and what do they want to do most in Waterdeep? Um, I am playing Roland DeToro, a human fighter turned kind of pseudo handyman and general manager of the the inn that we're running the what is it troll skull inn troll troll skull manor general manager yeah. that seems like quite the promotion yeah well okay it really let's, does let's You're look like at let's look at the, the map master. who else has an office in the building <laughs> you call that an office <laughs> no one i have a library and I didn't study. Study. wait i have a library and a study to the man you could fit an office in my room I have a desk. I do your accounting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, You're the accountant, accountant, not the manager. I, yeah. Roland yeah. is the right shrewd of our crew. I think if anything, I mean, Alu and Wilhelm two, are co-general managers. Alu? They're, they're the only two that have been talking about money. That's uh, a good point. You yeah. do, however, like do all the shit. You I, yeah, like, I, like, I am the handyman. I am the doorman. I am like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like the property <laughs> manager. You're like a manservant. The superintendent. You're like the super, the super, the building super. Ah, yeah, sure. So, That's fine. so I guess, I guess you could say that he is one trying to help this, this company grow. And then, I don't know. I think he's got a couple of musings in the back of his mind about maybe, I don't know, maybe forming his own mercenary company or something to do oh. jobs and whatever murder co gotcha. yeah murder dot murder co murder and friends i don't know <laughs> Shuri, um who yeah. are you playing and what do they want to do most in Waterdeep? so i play ali Drakar, um and she she lives in Waterdeep. so i'm not sure that like her ultimate goals and missions really are tied to Waterdeep, but whoa, whoa, mostly whoa. Whoa. Her she, family what? lives in Waterdeep. She lives in the moment. Yes. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah. I like it. That was good. Mic drop. <laughs> um, but in Waterdeep, I think her primary goals, Alu goes with the flow. She's always kind of looking to... Living in the moment. She's sneaky. So she's looking for whatever opportunities come her way. And ultimately, she's doing good deeds along the way. Gotcha. Did you uh, say she's uh, Robin Hood kind of style? She's yeah, buying kinda. up dying company stocks, hiking the price up, and making the hedge funds pay for it, that kind of thing? Oh, my God. Yeah, chaotic good. Okay. You chaotic good. <laughs> Normally, I play Wilhelm. Chaotic uh, Reddit. And Wilhelm's <laughs> biggest goal in Waterdeep is just to make absolutely as much money as possible. Uh, Hannah, who do you play? And drive Roland crazy. Well, that's Hannah's deal. Shoot, Ollie, I'm sorry, kiddo. We got cookie crumbs on you. You're good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I play Holly Reeves go delicately. Um, and what do I, I live in water deep too. And what I want most in water deep. What was the question? Uh, yes. What do you want to, yeah, what do you want to do? What's your ultimate goal here? As you, as of right now, it could change, but what, what does Holly want to do right now? What's her goal? Uh, Prove to her parents she can own a business and not have to mooch off of them like the deadbeat she is? No, her goal is to get Wilhelm to notice her, that she's a changed woman. That's an interesting one. Uh, Ian, who are you <laughs> playing, and what do they want? Uh, uh, Ian is playing Fen, who is a wood elf. And if I remember my backstory, uh, I believe what he wants most in Waterdeep is to... Uh, get info and do some investigation into the death of his wife. Gotcha. Uh, is, oh. Has your objective That's long term, short term, he mostly just wants to get vengeance for all the shit he's gone through for the last several months. <laughs> yeah. That's and short our, term. So much shit. Our much. Uh, normal DM Max is playing a character that we will introduce a little Thank later you. in the session. I was going to say... A new character? 
I'm so I just go through and I pick all my characters from other campaigns and throw them in at random spots in your guys' campaign yeah. to play. I love it. So, uh, so uh, like I said before, our current campaign is Waterdeep Dragon Heist, uh, set in the City of Splendor. Uh, last time we played Max, what happened? Uh, so last time, uh, Maximus spent his entire time in the library and study calculating the Employee Benefits Program. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> that's, that that's all he remembered. So, I mean, <laughs> he wasn't there for all the other stuff. And we're screwed. We're not going to be able to play for dental. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so uh, <laughs> last week, um, uh, we were trying to make up for the horrible sins that Roland had committed in the past. Of not even remembering the people that he's murdered. Just one. Henry, right? Henry? I mean, I don't even know how long his murder list is. He couldn't yeah, remember yeah, he couldn't remember in the in the room and you know, that's the he was like, all of these look like people I've murdered. <laughs> but they um snuck into the well, they didn't sneak into the morgue. They just, you know, scoped it out, found out that security is extremely lax, um, and that ninety percent yeah. of the people there are not doing their jobs. Um Cameron had a bonding moment with the uh, the man who was at wit's end behind the counter. Um, I don't think you ever asked for his name. I don't know, but uh, your legal he, team is on it. He gave me, remember, he gave me a list of all the names. So He, he did. He didn't tell you which one was it. of Smythe, I think. That might be right. Smythe. That is, I remember that. Uh, okay. So you got his name. I've got, I've I'm just going to go with that. Smythe, Goodguard, Rockefeller, Bad Undertaker, Kriegman Goodguard. Yeah, Rockefeller. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then you met Rockefeller. Yeah. Employee of the month. Raking in the uh, bonuses for everybody working there. <laughs> um, and uh, his attention to detail was impeccable. Uh, and then uh, Nate played a game of Guess Who uh, to figure out who he murdered. Which corpse belonged to him. Fortunately, he picked yeah, the right I guy. Got was, him resurrected. <laughs> um, and then Alu decided that um, she felt bad for the guy because he was just getting resurrected and didn't, you know, was going to be left there on his own. Um, and they found out that he didn't remember roughly the last 30 minutes of his life because of XP loss from uh, dying and being a level zero NPC. <laughs> so, um, you know, that works. And uh, you guys uh, took him back to his house. He was reunited with his son. I think it was, was a touching moment. A business connection. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Um, you yeah, guys now have new now. business opportunities, new products that you can offer at your tavern. Uh, Mostly you know, Crystal Meth. Well, and Hobbit's foot. <laughs> and Hobbit's foot. <laughs> yeah, Halfling Feet. Yeah. Lucky Halfling Feet. Yes. You guys yeah, ever need any of those? Really gonna, we're not going to supply those, but... <laughs> the they are, the luckier they are. I mean, they were supplied humanely. All the hobbits, halflings, had rings of regeneration, and we're oh, donating them. So, <sighs> so always fine with that. That, was, yeah. that took place on Elliot the fourteenth. We are now going to the next day, Elliot the fifteenth. Uh, how's everyone starting their day? Was is today our battle? No, I think okay. that's that's the twenty-first. Yeah, we still got like a week left before that. I'm happens. taking public transportation. Yeah, you basically have you can skip to the battle, but my suggestion is to try and get your level as high as possible before then, because uh, the yeah. people that were in line to sign up with they looked pretty intimidating. Well, we're level yeah, three we now. Live. We want to live. Yeah. Well, Finn well, starts every day with meditation, so he's doing that first. Yep. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Um, Are we using a day to up some of our skills? Roland with will. Our mentors? Roland will go about doing. Uh, he'll make a quick breakfast, like a you know, kind of a serve up, you know, small dishes of like, come get it when you're ever you're ready, uh, on the on the countertop, and then he will go about doing some chores throughout the day. So so um, when Roland comes morning. downstairs, um, he notices uh, Wilhelm reading a book, reading something. Uh, Perdita and Suri and even Leaf are listening in. Uh, he hears just some bits and lines. He hears, uh, all things that are are ours, but we must care. For if we do not care, we do not exist. 
If we do not exist, then there is nothing but blind oblivion. And even oblivion must end some day. Lord, will you grant me just a little time for the proper balance of things to return what was given for the sake of prisoners and the flight of birds? Death took a step backwards. It was impossible to read expression on Al's features. Death glanced sideways at the servants. Lord, what can the harvest hope for if not for the care of the reaper man? And uh, Wilhelm said looks... something. Uh, uh-huh. outside, outside, I thought you said something like this earlier, earlier on today. Maybe I did. Outside of, outside of game, yeah. I feel like uh, you previewed this to me. So, uh, Roland, when you come down, Wilhelm looks up and he says, I, I think that's enough for now. Uh, Perdita, why don't you practice uh, writing your letters? And you see Perdita trying to pick up a pencil repeatedly. Oh, with her, with her wear rat hand? <laughs> or no, no with, the with ghost her ghost hand. hand. Yeah, with ghost. I hope that the fact that the majority of these are undead and you just told them a hero, a a story about a heroic figure. uh, Yeah. What kind of William Blake propaganda bullshit are you reading for them now? Are you going to put your head in the oven soon? Is that what I'm (laughs) going to have to worry about that? Uh, Wilhelm Wilhelm looks really tired. And he. he I mean, William Blake. He's like, oh, hey, you're you're up. How's it going? What are you reading? Uh, th- it's, uh, just a book by one of the fa- my favorite authors, Terry Pratchett. That's the <laughs> one. That's what I was waiting for. Yep. I, I had a sneaking, I've not read any of those books, but I could feel that that's what you were doing. Yeah. I, I just want to point out for anyone watching later, Nate, if you're wondering, yes, that was in fact a Bull Durham reference that Nate just dropped a second yes, ago. Yes, was. Yeah. Crazy. But okay. I just, I weaved in a bunch of crap into that, into those two statements. <laughs> Jesus. Keep up, baby. Anyway. <laughs> Um, all right. It's like, so you're homeschooling these children now? Is that what we're doing? Well, until... Room uh, board and education? Until <laughs> they do not go delicately into the night school for the corporally disadvantaged is up and running. I figured, I mean, I, <laughs> comes over to you and he's like, Perdita is a sweet girl and being that young like she's a ghost she doesn't sleep i don't i wanted to you know keep her off her current situation that's fair i suppose (sighs) yeah do what you do i I guess school that we've established anyway i'm making breakfast what do you need uh i am actually gonna go catch some sleep and he pulls out some folders and he's like i actually got a shit ton of homework and I'm going to sleep for a couple hours, and then I'm going to work on that for the rest of the day. Great. All right. You change your mind, I'll be in the kitchen. Yep. You grading homework? He, he does make doing a, homework. Uh, is Alu down here to ask that question? Yes. Alu wants to ask that question. By the way, she, her order is fruit. Her voice comes out from the rafters where she's been sneaking around up above everyone. <laughs> well, Helm's like, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Take the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Uh, Oliver, well, are you in the vents again? God damn. Yeah. He, he takes a broomstick, starts smacking around up above. Get out of no. there. Um, no, I, I I got both. I got a grade Perdita's, and then I got I got the Lore Bard College. I got my first assignment, so I got shit I got to work on. You got a book report. Okay. Oh, if you, uh, if you pass the grading of uh, Perdita's stuff off to Maximus, he'll do it. You just can slip it into the forms for, like, your, your ledger. And he'll just flip to it and just do it. Yeah. And well, then just I, keep going like nothing will. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine Wilhelm, Wilhelm's enlisted Maximus. So the two of them are going to be busy for the rest of the day. I like the idea that you're just secretly slipping it into the paperwork and I just do it anyways. I just <laughs> yeah, grade yeah. it. It's just. <laughs> what does this have to do with? Yeah, this general ledger is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh,. Roland's down in the kitchen. Alu is sneaking around the rafters of the first floor. What else is everyone else doing? Holly Reads is going to come down into the kitchen to eat the breakfast slash criticize the breakfast that Roland made. Yeah, as she probably, if she's making her way down, she probably passes Wilhelm as he trudges up the stairs on the outside. Uh, He's kind of focused on getting his shit done and getting some sleep. So he, he's not, he's going to give her the nod and what's up and then head up. Um, more than handsome. Eh. Okay. We'll talk later. Lovely to see you again. Sorry. I'm very tired. Cameron, I'm going to 
peek out slightly as my unintroduced character and see how close I am to my stop. Close <laughs> to your stop? Yeah. Am I getting close? Uh, yeah, you're getting close. Okay, cool. Thank you. I duck back in. Oh my god. All right. I think depending on, you know, what like what we're planning this day for, um, Ollie would probably meet with her mentor if we're not going on a quest. Yeah, she absolutely can. You guys essentially um if you can go through the morning, nothing nothing okay. happens. You can spend this consider this basically a day of downtime. Uh you're not you're not don't have any pressing concerns nothing big happens you will uh, whoever happens to be there after lunch uh there's going to be a knock on the door okay holly reese wants to go bug the rock rock shasta uh so if she's leaving she friend. opens the door and she bumps oh, into God. a small little man uh who's holding a little basket gift basket Hi, I didn't see you. Are, is this more muffins? She's very excited. Uh, no, this is more muffins. No, this is some just assorted cheeses uh, and wines. I, I wanted to introduce myself. I am Emic Froon. Uh, I own Froon's Brews uh, just across the street, and he points behind him, the building directly across from you. Say it like you. that. Froon's Brews. Froon's Brews. Say it like Brews. Yeah. He says uh, it competitor, just magic missile him. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I just wanted to welcome you all to the neighborhood as a fellow business owner. And uh, I look forward to, you know, a friendly little business rivalry. <laughs> Don't oh trust him. Well, uh, thank you for the cheese and wine. Uh, this is this is free, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is okay, just a little welcome awesome. to the neighborhood <laughs> gift. And, and just, I want you to know that if, if you all need anything, help with you know, hiring personnel or getting things in order uh, with the guilds. I'm, I'm here to, to help you all as best I can. Okay, great. Thank you. Nothing fishy. Roland, though. we have a gift basket. As, Come get as he's it. talking, his eyes, he's clearly like scanning around the tavern, kind of checking things out as best he can. Okay. Can I? Oh. Close can I? Roll, can I check and see like I'm as a as like a mercenary soldier person can I, I can I tell by like his body language and the way he's scanning would that be a, would that be similar to how I would be yeah give me an like, insight check okay okay I have a rock shasta to meet so uh are you announcing this I'll to everybody I'm telling because the little the little guy Prune. go do that mm -hmm. um Anyway, okay. Oh, who wants to severely discourage Holly from cultivating friendship with this person? I can't hear you. Don't tell him. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. What? All right, that's a 16 okay. for me. So you see, you can tell by his mannerism, this is a civilian. This is okay, not so... someone of the military. But what you can tell, being uh, a mercenary, someone who does things for business reason, you see desire and avarice in the way he looks at the tavern. Mm -hmm. Avarice means greed, Nate, just FYI. <laughs> Roland yeah, he, might not know It that. means he's hostile and needs to be murdered. Oh, well, <laughs> in that case, I'll take my mop. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and smear him all yeah. over the floor. Yeah, I'll, I'll say, I'll take that, that fruit <laughs> basket off your hands for you, sir. Thank you, appreciate that. Where did you say you were from? The Fruins? Fruins Bruise? Bruise. And he'll, he'll point uh, behind mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. We're gonna Is that a pub or Carolina. like a distillery? Say that again? Is it a pub or a distillery? It is a pub. Okay. Got it. So we are putting it right across the street. Oh, wants to put him out of business. All he doesn't trust him. Aggressively price him out of business. There we go. You guys can see that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That place, is, the one that needs to be torched. Yeah. It's the one. If I was level right five, I'd just put a fireball range. through the top of that. All right. 
while that's going on, um, Holly, you get to the Eye of the Tiger. Is that what it's called? Uh, I think it was like Tiger's Eye, actually. Tiger's or something Eye, like okay. That, but, I was close. But the, um, I mean, let me double there, check. And he, he has a sign up. He's out on business. Yes. <laughs> uh, did you say yes? Is Holly going to leave a little love note on his Anna, door? Sorry, he's gone. He's not there. He's out on business. <laughs> That's oh, what Lord. the sign says. Right. She's going to, Holly Reese is going to leave a note uh, saying, Dear Vincent, sorry we missed each other. Hope you're having a good day. We'll check back in later. Sincerely, Holly Reese. Okay. This is the Rakshasa yeah. tiger dude. He's the tiger yeah. dude. Yeah. The backwards hands and shit. Yeah. Yep. Um, does anyone mm. else have anything they want to do during this particular day? The DM in me is screaming right now. Anyway, um, we eat some food and get crumbs screaming? everywhere. We're, we're like a a bar, right? Like we gotta we got we, we, are... we to hire people and like get suppliers and shit and like really. Oh call yeah, people. when did the grand opening? We by the did way, some of that. The we... grand opening is the nineteenth, which is in but the four soft days. opening. The soft opening, we <laughs> could. We could well, do. So aren't we doing have, like a neighborhood party? You guys have. Uh, no, that's the grand opening, isn't it? Wilhelm has organized a soft opening. The bar's been open since the twelfth, I believe. So hey some patrons come in. Some patrons head out during oh, the day. No. Um, Leaf works behind the counter. Surrey and Purdy to help around. Um, you can tell that you're short staffed. You might, like, even with the soft opening, you might need to consider hiring some dedicated kitchen. And server personnel. Um, yeah. But right now, it seems to kind of run itself. It's definitely ahead of the grand opening. You want to do some of that. I think overall, Fen is interested in like having a specific. Oh, I don't know. He wants to be known for the type of. He wants a, a, a house drink that uh, that the bar is known for. He's. I think Fen wants to look for local distilleries that are going to be exclusive suppliers of our bar. Uh, well, the, well, you do have a deal with. Uh, Coraline's oh, the crown. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, the elf lady who we gave a vitality potion for, and she does small batch brewing as well. Fala yeah. Lefalier? Yeah, Fala she's. La, 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 la. I think if you want, she's like, technically a, a microbrewer. Like, four manner <laughs> brew, you're going to have to, like. Yeah. It's going to have to be, like, so a cocktail. Does Fen want to go swing by and check in on what she's cooking? Yeah, so Fen's going to go. He's just finished his meditation. He's going to go for a run, and on his run, he's going to check out. Yeah, that. so it's, it's only been a couple of days, so she's still in the, like, fermentation processes. But she gives mm -hmm. you a little tour of the small casks she's got going around and, and what mm -hmm. she's been working on. Um, By tour, you mean samples? Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you want to drink unfermented yeast water. I'm, uh, I'm on theme here, guys. That's why I'm... Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, she might she might be what she's doing now, but does she have any like standing samples of stuff that she's finished so far? No, because she didn't. She didn't. She doesn't. Oh, she wasn't in alcohol. That's true. There were, she's doing this as like a favor to us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like she does she's do it, but she buddy. wasn't in the game a whole lot before. Yeah. Until we got her back in. Um. Right. Yeah. So, so <laughs> you guys make some small chit chat, but eventually, like, she's got to get back to work. Some customers come in. Do we want to workshop a name for your for your drink there, Fen? I mean, I could just steal it. I'm sipping on some Lafroig right now. So And Lafroig? Lafroig. Name okay. an explosive room. I'm gonna think about I, it. I, <laughs> I think that there needs to be some sort of cocktail like trolls mucus or trolls blood or hmm. something like that. Troll toes. It no, no, no. It should be Fen's Oopsie Daisies. And it should just... <laughs> it's going to be the hardest thing. One, one shot will knock you the fuck knock out. You out. Yeah. Ranger's yeah. demise. It's just, oh, 100, right it's just 200 proof grain alcohol. So... <laughs> Not even... No, no, no. She's, like, she's like, I mean, I have this that I use to scrub clean pots in between brewing sessions. We could just serve to people. It. Okay. <laughs> All right. So actually, he needs two. He needs a very flowery, for, uh, perfumed wine. That's his Oopsie Daisies wine. 
and then he needs a hard shoot shooting liquor, and we just call it fence headshots. I'd like to flip it so that nobody knows what they so they get the wrong they thing. Do, everyone, oh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, why so do they? Yeah. Take yeah. some fence notes surprise. And you can get some names and ideas back to her, and she'll incorporate all that. Um, awesome. So you guys spend your day doing whatever you want. Uh, eventually, I assume everyone's going to come back for dinner time around what you think a late dinner like seven eight o'clock yeah i think um if fen's run's not gonna last him all day or all, all morning maybe when he comes back roland will be like you want to get some sparring in we want to practice before that tournament happens fen's gonna be like hell yes please uh, i gotta i gotta maybe take a nap because i had a few samples at the <laughs> fair enough all right. yes. maybe that that'll be our afternoon activity before dinner before Perfect. I get dinner started, uh, we'll get some some sparring sessions, and I'll he'll get to uh, practice his stuff. I'll get to practice my maneuvers, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Keeping. It gets it gets to be late. Uh, Leaf has Leaf and Surrey and Perdita have prepared something uh, in the kitchen for everyone. Uh, there's not really any customers around this time. It, Oddly enough, it seems like a business bar. People come here for like, so far I've been coming here for business lunches more than night events. Sure. Um, but uh, when Wilhelm comes down for, for dinner, he's looking a little better, still a little rough. Uh, once everyone's kind of getting plates together and everything, um, you guys hear a large, slow creak at the door as it opens up. And this massive shadow uh, stands with the sun behind its back. Massive silhouette in the doorframe? Yep. Nate, if you act right now, it'll be a surprise round. <laughs> You're determined <laughs> to get me to fight somebody. Again. Um, Roland, I imagine kind of like how the barkeep keeps a shotgun under his desk, uh, under the, like, the counter. I will keep my, my glaive under, like, like kind of up underneath of it, and I'll put my hand on it just in case. But for now, I'm just gonna be like, you just need friend. like five loaded crossbows down there, so you just yeah, really, keep right. pulling and just. <laughs> I am here for the report from Miss Go Delicately's crew. Can I? Okay. Do I, do we remember what this is? I don't. You don't know I... this guy. I pick it, out was the, it was for the uh, figuring out who was selling these fake maps. Uh, I peek oh. out. What do I see around me? Maximus? Yeah. Am I at the destination? Am I in? Wait, are you talking about Rex or Max? Rex. Rex is enjoying... He's He's gotten to his destination. He is hanging out at a little restaurant, enjoying his time. Do I see... Do I see Roland? No. Okay. Can I? Can I like? Even if it's gonna break cover, can I? Can I like look out to see Roland and wave at him? <laughs> You're not here. You're in the dock wards. Oh. Okay. This is a different one. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. This. This is not you. I. I oh. I'd your token if it was here. Wah, wah. Okay. Don't um, worry about that. Forget all of that. Then I will be like, all right, just a minute. Um, and I will and go. Says, I'll, I'll, no problem. You have. I, I said. He says. Uh, I only need to report back to my master by midnight. And he goes and he makes himself a plate at dinner. I was gonna say. I'll. I'll motion for him to have a seat and. Yeah. And he'll, he'll sit down and. I'll come up eating. with some free bread. Some free. Yeah. Some free. Some free bread. Um. And I'll. I'll go get Holly and be like, Hey, uh, your your would be Oedipus boyfriend's lackeys here. <laughs> oh. Okay. What did he want? He Ooh. wants your report on our status with the investigation on those maps. Oh, I... yeah. What is our status on the investigation of the maps? <laughs> I kill stuff and I make food. I don't know. How close is well, your percentage of kills to You also bring the dead back to life. Uh, more like I drop the dead off at the at the front door of the people who... Yeah, bring that he's just the project manager. He doesn't I actually am... work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just make sure everybody else is doing their job. The he puts it in the queue, gentlemen, and he's yeah. like, 
Well, I gotta get back to my homework. And he's what gonna... was the, uh... Okay, so Holly's gonna come downstairs to meet yeah. with, with the, the lackey. Um... My lady. Before she does, before she does, she's gonna dress up in like her sluttiest outfit to show a little skin. Lovely. Uh, and she's Ooh. gonna call it, come and and meet with him downstairs. Um, can you please remind me the name of the god awful uh, dwarf from the grave? Yard. Oh, the ones that we... Oh, Adam? The From drunk? Which one the graveyard? The drunk. The one who can... Rock of the Morgue. Okay, thank she you. She's the one who offered... The morgue. Adam was the gravekeeper. Mm, yeah. Rockefeller was the one drinking the... The embalming fluid. Embalming yep. fluid. Okay. okay. Um, do, <laughs> do we remember the name of the... When, when we had to break into that one place to... What was it? Very trying specific. to think of what we were even doing there. I conveniently have um, a list of names. If you tell me who you're looking for, I can probably tell you. I who they are. It's that other thieving crew that we ran into when we surrounded the building and tried to go in all, you know, B and E style. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, that is uh, the Ravik. Ravik okay. kidnapped Nezra and or Ravik kidnapped yeah. Larth, who was Nezra's boyfriend, who he extorted yes. to get a copy of the map. Yeah, and yeah. I was there, and nobody died. That was that was cool. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> is that a potential thread we can we can say we can follow back on? Like, if we need to give this guy something, we'd be like, "Hey, we've got a name. We're gonna follow this lead. That way, we can actually report something to this guy and be like, yeah, we're working sure. on it.'" Uh, actually, everyone, make a history check. Let's see okay. if you're struggling to remember. I'll give you a roll of the die to see if anyone actually remembers this. Fuck me. There was okay. a detail uh, that Artur Morlin. The Masked Lord of Waterdeep left you with. Nope, I don't remember shit. Who boy. Great. Two. I'm yeah. still with this. Hey, I got 19. Okay. Uh, Maximus remembers. Oh, no, that was for Rex. Uh, Why would he be here? <laughs> he's not. He just remembers, though. Maximus, <laughs> uh, he remembers that yeah. he, was, he was terrified, but he remembers that the mass lord, the vampire, when he held the maps up to his face, he uh, scrunched his nose in disgust and he said, these smell of brine and poverty, and then kind of let them fall to the floor before he started brine and feeding on So people. I recount that to him, exactly. but in yeah. the most incoherent way possible. Like I am telling him every fact just in a random order. Yeah. Uh, because I was scared shitless at the time. Eventually Frank uh, slams his hand on the table and he says enough uh you have until midnight and then my master will visit upon you and you better not disappoint him and then he goes back uh, to wait, maximus, wait, maximus I, said, I didn't get to say anything to him maximus did all the talking well i do want to say one more thing what what happens if you don't come back like, if you just died here. He smiles, I mean, and he says, I have died here. Wow. Okay, hold on a minute. You're going to have to go uh, a little deeper into that, so uh, I I need a notebook, and I walk away, because I need to start taking notes on how this guy died here and came back. Yeah. Uh, you can talk now. <laughs> Maximus is gone. He's going to be gone a while. <laughs> Sir, I apologize for my dumb acquaintance. You don't deserve that. Uh, we, it obviously means that we, there's... We have, a, we have a lead. Um, we are going to check out some schmuck named Ravik, who is poor. Um, and we also have a lead on a poor Brian. You are person. wasting an awful lot of time giving me excuses. He looks at... He pulls out a old, ancient pocket watch. Uh, and when he pulls out his hand, you notice that his hands are stitched and his fingers don't match. Oh, like, he's oh, like they would be on his body. Here. And he yeah. says, you have four hours. Okay. I don't know if you've ever disappointed Artur. Or, or actually, he says, uh, 
you, you may not know this, but Artur Morlin is someone you cannot disappoint twice. Oh, believe me, the Godelic at least have never disappointed. Oh my god, is that a, like a double? Oh yeah, it was. Oh yeah, that's a... Yeah, it was. So, Ella's not going to tell this dude this, but she's going to make sure that while she's at the docks, she talks to Henry and all her contacts down there. Is that where you guys get... went ahead? Well, I think that's where she, no, she sat down with... for her mentor person, right? Yeah. So she's probably gone while this is I'm already later. there, but she'd be doing that at the same time. Okay, that's fine. Uh, while Alu is at the docks, what is everyone else going to do? Well, we I thought this was happening Ravik. simultaneously, right? Well, um, yeah. I I've like, come back with... downstairs with notes to figure out how he's immortal. Yeah, so Maximus so... And, and Frankel... So I... Takes, I grill him and I yeah. ask him if his name is Frankie Peanuts and yeah. put that down as the subject's name. Uh, we need to find Ravik, or at least his whereabouts. If that's I what mean, you want to do, that would... He was last seen... Why are you blaming Ravik for this? I've forgotten. It's just is because he, the one he had a copy of, of the map, I think. Like He's the one who gave it... Oh, no. He, like, we want to go ask him. gave him that copy. Yeah, okay. he wanted our map. Right. Okay. So that's I was really just using him as like a as like a we're working on it even though it's complete kind of bullshit really. Um mm -hmm. cuz I know this guy's here to check our homework and we haven't done any of our homework lately. Oh. Um cuz we forget about our homework. Yeah, but yeah, so okay, according to your history check, the only person who actually remembers anything about that guy saying something about Brian is Maximus, right? And he, yeah, he but it sounds not. like he told everyone. Did I mean, tell everyone? I did. You said it out loud for people. Yeah, like I said all the words in a different order, so you guys can probably put it back together. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm I'm going to... This guy is still here, right? He's like at he the table. He doesn't seem like he's going to leave. Oh, okay. and like if he does try to leave, like Maximus will do everything in his power up to attacking him to uh, prevent him from leaving until I get all the secrets he has. Wait, seems, up to and including? No, no. Max. He'll stop at attacking. Like, he won't attack. Attacking. Got it. But he will beg. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you... Embarrassingly. Yes. Maximus, you meant, you <laughs> I, will, I will hold on to his leg and just be like, you can't. Maximus, you so... mentioned brine, right? He mentioned that this smells of poverty and brine. Uh, it, yeah. Yeah. That... Yeah makes me think something might be down by the docks. Brian is essentially just salt water, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it sounds right to me. Uh, Mr. No, Mr. Frankie Peanuts, um, Stein. what's your blood type? It's The last name is Stein. Ah, sorry. Frankie Stein? Oh, yes. you're a legend. Frankie Stein. <laughs> yeah, he is. Anyway. Um, what yeah, so, is, so Frankie uh, Stein's just regaling Maximus with this long story about uh, what Getting he was like when he was alive and all that stuff, and so they seem like they're going to be occupied. Yeah, like so, I am. I am ready for the twenty-four hour marathon of Frankie's life yeah. to find the moment that he becomes immortal and unlife. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, then, if that's the case, well, yeah, you can keep him so, here. Keep him distracted. That's what I'm thinking. Him. Is that I'm not attempting to do that, but Max inadvertently will try to stun lock him for twenty-four to forty-eight hours of interview as long as we can, as long as he can. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you, you Frank, mean, Frank is not hiding. Doctor. He's like, uh, I mean, he'll say like, Artur will be here, or Lord Morlin will be here at midnight. Okay, so we have a few hours to work with. I say we get down to the dock wards and see if we can't hone You're in gonna on You're going to have less luck than Alu in the dock wards because yeah. she's got contact. We're going to get over to But We can dock meet up wards. and we can... Yeah. So and that's we'll one of the things I like, you know, like when I'm down there, because I obviously, I wouldn't know, but having my contacts, do I need to make some sort of rules to find out what yeah, my so, like little sparrows would so know? We can, we can we can talk about that. So hopefully everyone can see uh, a, the, the map. It's like the, the zoomed in. Uh, I like yes. this. Um, so for right now, we're going to say uh, Maximus is not here. Um, we are going to say that Alu's been down here all day. Um, and so you, you had a mentor you said you were visiting. 
they work yep. at the Mermaid's Arms, I believe is the name of the bar. Yep. Um, yeah, so, so what would you be talking to them about? So I would have, first I know that we need to find information on the creators of the original maps that are pissing off our good lord Morland. Mm -hmm. um, so I would have stopped, talked to Henry on my way, and Pavel, right? Um, and yeah. set them on a mission to find out whatever information they can find. I talked to my little sparrows, all the sure. little street urchins I see on my way. So I'm like sending all my feelers out, and then Max, while I was you can move your working with my mentor, I would uh, also speak I with can. him. Sweet. Let me give myself a <laughs> here. So yeah, so so you're you're asking what what exactly are you I guess asking? You're like I have this map and I want to find out where it is, or you're trying to be more cagey with your information. I, I'm going to be more cagey with my information. I'm. I think so the thing that I think is on the map that starts like the whole thing is the treasure under water deep that is somehow like the entrance is in the graveyards, right? That's like kind of where everyone's sh like going through. Yeah, so okay, okay. So, so I think that she would she wouldn't talk so much about necessarily having a copy of the map, but she'd want to know where the origin of this rumor comes from. Yeah, so your mentor uh this old tiefling um they uh, let me remember duh, duh, duh. mantra netsphera is that right i think so um i don't have a gender i'm gonna assume i think we agreed that he was a dude okay okay so this old tiefling man is uh he his eyes light up when he sees alu he's very excited to see her again she doesn't visit as much as she used to um, and he says, oh, sit down, sit down. What, what can I do for you today? And then, uh, like you said, Henry and Pavel and your sparrows are out uh, looking for yeah. rumors and bits of information. The child labor. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they're homeless little street kids. So Alu, yeah. you know, gives them tasks and yeah. helps to feed them and stuff. Nothing in the code legal about child labor. No, unfortunately. <laughs> Which, speaking of, you guys do have a copy of the code, code legal in the text chat, just to remind yes. everyone. Um, yes, Nate, thanks. have you put it on your sword yet? Or right. your, your polar? Yeah, so, like, so he says... I have it engraved Alu, on the blade. What do you need today? Yeah, so Alu would be a little bit more like open and honest with her mentor about exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. She'd fill him in on the backstory. She'd probably even tell him about the dude... His eyes so kind of squint, and he, he looks around, and he, he pulls you in close as a co-conspirator, and he says, You know, there have been all sorts of rumors about a giant treasure beneath Waterdeep. People have been running all over town. We've got uh, the Xanathar's Guild busting up the, uh, the, the sewer system, digging around everywhere. The uh, Dung Sweeper's Guild has been chasing them out where they can. Uh, the Zentarum have been uh, clashing with the Xanathar's Guild. Something happened between the two factions. I don't know what's going on, but uh, everyone seems to be looking for this treasure. Tell me who started this rumor. Uh, that that I don't know. It's uh, it's it's tough to pinpoint. I'll, I'll be honest. I've I've uh, especially in the Dock Ward. I've seen more than one group of. Uh, rough looking individuals walking around with a map in their hands and they often get into fights with other people but I don't I, I couldn't tell you where it's coming from would he be able to give me names of some of the ruffians that have information or that he saw with the map getting in fights with others he he'd look at you and he'd he'd kind of point his finger out to a table across and you would see um, three men kind of huddled around a table talking to each other. Oh, can't put a hurting on them by herself. But she she's going to do some little scouting, sit close back to them and see if she can use drop a bit. Yeah, they so yeah, give me a give me a stealth check. Okay, let's see if Ali can be stealthy today. 
What is my stealth? Do you have expertise in stealth? Yeah. Okay. It's a, I think so. That's, so that's like work. a plus four or some shit. Yep. Even still, she is not stealthy today. Yeah, I mean, they notice you sitting next to them, but one of them turns to you and winks. He thinks that maybe you're interested, and he's like, can I buy you a drink? Maybe... Actually, Alu will, if they're going to invite me to sit with them and, like, buy them a drink, Alu will pull up a chair. She's like, don't touch, but she'll sit and chat. Sure thing. Now, uh, while you do that, Alu, you give me a... Pers ah, if you're focused on them, Max... Can you give me a stealth check? Oh, no. Yeah, I can. Are, are you following me, Max? I'm everywhere. I wonder if... I'm actually on the bus right now. My favorite so... form of public transportation. Oh, <laughs> Nate's seen me try numbers. those before. So, mm -hmm. Rex, uh, you have been hired to grab a map that you know this three dudes have come into the possession of uh, perfect you you have been casing them they've mostly been carousing and drinking uh you you've been hidden away in a booth and then you see alu who wait a booth approach them and she sits down with them and when i say you see alu you know her from a previous job uh, by reputation. You two haven't personally met before, but uh, you have heard of a tall, uh, lovely, but slightly otherworldly looking woman who has... I'll look like short. Short? A short, mm -hmm. but slightly otherworldly looking woman. Well, tall to Rex, because Rex is even yeah. shorter. No, I'm kidding. The angelic oh, thief. Oh, Rex. Yeah. Um, is Rex like a foot tall? No. No. No, Is he's he uh. Four feet tall? How tall am I? Let me check. Uh, I'm five four. You're taller than me. Oh, okay. Uh, You're shorter than five four. Mm hmm. What? The yeah. angelic halfling thief. That's <laughs> whole. Yeah. I've heard of her. Um, <laughs> no, nothing. No specific job has ever been uh, tied to her, but you remember a previous one you were employed. Um, to infiltrate uh, a, a party as an, an entertainer. You were there kind of in disguise as a juggler. Mm -hmm. And uh, your, your job was to switch out a plaque uh, that the noble family had received uh, recently as payment for the debt of some lesser house, uh, to switch that plaque out uh, with a fake so that the lesser house could be framed for um, not not fulfilling their obligation. Yeah. Um, but someone actually beat you to it and swapped it out uh, even before you could get to with a copy that, uh, to all intents and purposes, people couldn't tell was the real thing, kind of saved oh. the reputation. And when I noticed that, I swapped it out with an IOU for the other house just yeah. on like a piece of paper yeah. and I wrote like the stuff that's on the plaque. Yeah, you, on had it. To, you had to work a little extra hard to cause the chaos you yeah. were hired to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, when fire juggling goes bad, it goes bad, but, you know? But you... you At do, least it wasn't chainsaws this time. You do recognize this woman um, as... She wasn't standing out at the party, but she kind of... You recognize her from that party at one point in time. So, um, uh, just recently I ordered, um, a bottle of grain alcohol and, um, I asked for, I spilled some of it on the table and I asked for a rag, um, to, uh, clean it up with because yeah. I got it all over myself. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I'm just, like I'm just sitting there wiping up the grain alcohol all over this rag so that I can, uh, you know put it into the bottle yeah while, uh, while you're yeah, just doing that, tell me how the conversation looks to be going at the other table yeah so so alu uh the guys they they get a glass for you they pour uh some wine into it for you um and you know as they toast they they, they, they say well you want to toast us we are going to be very rich very soon Oh, good. I want to hear all about it. Do tell. 
give me actually is she, this is alu faking interest right oh yeah um, yeah so this is me, yeah give me a she'd probably do it all cameron if i see anybody flash a piece of paper over at the other table um i'm gonna light my tinderbox and yeah. throw my molotov in the middle of the uh bar gotcha. and uh uh, but if I fail, and That's I see somebody pick up a napkin, I'm going to assume it's the map as well. I'm going to go snatch the napkin. Gotcha. Just so uh, you know. They... One or the other, the Molotov's going off. Um, they say uh, we are going to be very rich because we found a treasure map. I feel like Alu would probably... Like, I'm not sure how to do this as, like, a player to, like, explain what she would do. But she would basically, she'd be like, oh. And she'd probably, like, talk a little bit about hearing about this treasure. Um, and then, like, wrap into it a little bit of the story of how the treasure is cooey. And it just leaves, leads to certain death. Like, being very dramatic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of discouraging them. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, so two of them kind of show a little concern. One of them seems like he's getting a little upset. He's like, no, 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 this, this is our big break. It's finally going to happen. That, uh, that dummy, and he, he thinks, he, his eyes go up as he thinks to himself, was his name Spleen, Fian, whatever, the cobbler on Ship Street. He didn't know what he had, and now we're going to be rich because of it. Ali's making a mental note. I'm making an actual note. Now, while while this conversation and this carousing, I mean, this this they're pretty drunk, so it's going to take Alu a little while to get all this information out of them. Um, mm -hmm. Rex, what are you doing? At any sign of anything that looks even remotely like a piece of paper at the other table, I toss my Molotov into the middle of the bar, and okay. I want to put it in a place that makes it hard for people to wrap around to get to the front door. And then I'll go... You want to throw it if, at the front door? Uh, no, I don't want to block it off and kill a ton of people. Although, you know, because everybody would go out the back then, I want them to go out the front um, to, to look at the exit that they came in. Um, so I'm going to pitch it in the middle and hope that they all go towards the front to try to escape. And, Are uh, these guys dumb enough and to take out a piece of paper? I will grab whatever piece of paper they had, and I will, as I'm doing that, slide of hands... And grab one of the guys. I'll slide hands a piece of paper, and I'll grab one of the guys and be like, "We gotta get out of here!" Like I'm helping him, and uh, take him out the back. Yeah, give just me in case I got the wrong piece of paper. Sleight of hands check, Alu. I guess how how would you react to a fire starting and? Alu's yeah, guess... not gonna give it really about the fire starting, but because she is a thief, she's probably gonna be wise to any sort of sleight of hand so do you want me to do more to checks check on that as well i guess it'll be a sleight of hand check versus her perception versus his perception i feel like i need more than one sleight of hands check here because i'm gonna like light the bottle and act like i spilled it and drop yeah. a molotov in the middle of the bar well, so and then i'm gonna try to sleight of hands the the whatever piece of paper i see even if it's a napkin the Maltov, <laughs> I think you can do that without alerting anyone because no oh, one's good. looking at you. But once you approach the table, Alu's going to be aware. Give me a sleight of hands check, and Alu, because you've seen tricks like this before, give me a perception check with advantage. Okay. So twice, While they're yeah. rolling all that, Cameron, can you say? Oh the, God! You said you said oh. Fian or Spleen? No, I did that. Uh, the cobbler on what street? Ship Street. Ship Street. What is that? Okay. She caught me. <laughs> uh, Alu, you see him pocket the bill for the table. Yeah, I pick up the bill for the table and I shove it down my shirt like nobody saw. <laughs> you know, just completely. I look, well, you can't see it because I have a mask on, but uh, it's a jester's mask with a, up. it's got a nice smiley face on it, but it's got a, uh, it's got a blood teardrop right below one. Well... Once once uh, you grab the guy, this was the guy who was getting upset, Rex. He he is more upset. He's like, what are you doing? And he shoves you. Um, oh, no, no, no. Can we do an opposed uh, strength check here? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to be like, we got to get out of here. 
I'm not even going to try to convince him. I'm just going to drag him. I'm the DM. I gotta... <laughs> Stir, sir, stop resisting. I'm trying to save your life. <laughs> I'm always going to observe, but she's not going to interfere. Can I... Uh, I what do you want from me? Do you, do you want a grapple check, or do you want a pure... Uh... Do, do strength. Okay. While while that's happening, I'll lose something that uh, during your so. Uh, good go bearers. Uh, you you won this one. Oh good. Guess he has been drinking. And he's he's like uh, so so he he shoves you, but he himself stumbles back, and he says, "What are you doing? What? Everyone's trying to get the treasure. What are you doing?" And uh, he he seems to be getting more and more upset. His buddies are trying to calm him down, but uh, they start they seem like they're getting a little suspicious, and they they kind of the three of them kind of get together across from the two of you. Wait, I thought I won my strength check, so I'm I'm actually taking him to safety out the back door with my cloak over him to protect him from the fire. Oh, your strength check was not to resist the shove. You were you were trying to pull him along. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can do two, like one for the strength, one for the shove, and one to see if I can actually get him to move. Yeah, give give me another one. I guess uh, if it helps, I can put a put a fist into his throat. Damn. Are you? There we go. I mean, him? boy is that. Well, uh, I can do that if uh, he if he if this doesn't work, uh, I'm gonna put a fist into his throat and uh, like just right in the. Uh, no, you're you're able no, to you are grappling. able to kind of muscle him out the door. Okay. But while while you're doing that, he is. Hollering. I do take him out the back, by the yeah. way. Yeah. And then I his buddies like... are gonna follow. Yeah, and I. Yeah. Uh, what's what right outside doing? the door when I close it? Say that again. As we go out the door, I use my foot to like kick it behind me to close it. What's behind? Uh, what's outside the door? Just a little alleyway. No, I mean like anything like you know trash cans or like. Anything that uh, I can just, you know, yeah, shove in front of the door. door. Yeah. Uh, nothing actually. Back here, there's nothing. It looks like it was recently cleaned by the dump sweepers. I say, well, this sucks for you. And uh, I, uh, I'm i going to take a dagger and just put it in his throat. Oh, to try and kill, to, like, kill him? Damn. Yeah, I just need the map. I don't need him. Uh, yeah. Give Hopefully, me I got a one in three chance of getting the right guy. Yeah. Go ahead and give me an attack roll. Sweet. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what are since you I doing while this is happening, we're gonna go ahead. Since I dragged him along, do I get any bonuses? Like, it, well, if he's grappling him, do you get advantage on a grapple target? I mean, I'm not. We didn't do a grapple. I'm actually better at grappling than I am straight strength check. So I would have preferred a grapple, but. Oh, okay. Since I'm trying to like move him at like full speed to get out, I figured that's why I'm not grappling. But you know, it's fine. I guess we're going to let you attack, and then you, Alu, and the guys are going to roll initiative. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Do I have a advantage? Like, because I'm... Or anything like that? I mean, he clearly knows about me, but I also am just kind of, like, dragging him along, and it's before the first round of combat. I, I'd say you get, a su you get a surprise round, but you don't get advantage on okay. the attack. Sounds good. Yeah, you can uh, hit him. 22. Uh, do I get sneak attack on this? Sneak attack is only when you have advantage with a finesse weapon, right? Why is it? Takes... Oh, okay. I was like, why is it blank on my screen? And so it takes up? four damage. Okay, so we're gonna we're not like everything's pretty close together, so we don't need a super move. I'm just gonna call these guys with Alu are on the inside of the bar, and then this guy uh, oh. is on the outside with. I guess I will like while I've got him, I'm just like shanking him, and I got both of our weight up against the door. Just to, you know, make it a little harder to... Yeah, hard to get through. Yeah. yeah. Let's give me some initiative rolls. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually click my token. Hold on. I'm going to roll, and then I'm going to put my number in. As usual, Fen so is first into the fray, and will get his shit pushed in as a result. That's I don't think we're yet. there. Yeah, I was going to say... Yeah, yeah. Alu went without you guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, she went ahead of us, and we're actually we're on our way down there, but we don't know where she is or. Just look for the like, rave. Alu, you just yeah. got. Okay. Listen for all the. the actually, that's a that bad one initiative. Well, this is a pretty stealthy fight Wait, so far. It's all Rex it's all present shank. Thirteen or sixteen? Rex got sixteen. 
that's the only weapon I, I know 14. how to use. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're already in initiative order. Okay. Yeah. Um, so nice. we're going to start out with the thugs. Let me think. What would the one that's getting stabbed do? He's he's gonna cry out for help first thing, <laughs> and then he is he is just going to attempt to hit uh, Rex with his uh, mace. He's he's gonna attempt to uh, shove Rex off of him and hit him with his mace. So give okay. me a strength check. Well, we're not grappling, are we? So, no. I mean, I didn't grapple him before, so does he even need to shove me off? Well, I guess... Eh, whatever. Uh, I'm going to roll like against the door. Yeah, I'm holding up against the door. Yeah. Well, can I roll a grapple check then? Because I'm so much better at grappling. Okay, so, so yeah, we'll call it... You know what? We'll say he's grappled and we'll uh, use his action to his escape. So he's going to succeed on a strength check against your athletics check. So what your athletics is what? Uh, my athletics is plus, plus six, two. so so it's just do eight plus 16. six. Oh, 14? Okay. 14. Yeah. Uh, he does escape the grapple. Oh, no. um, that's his action. Uh, then he's going to move away from the door. Uh, the other two thugs are going to try and... Are you, like, you're leaning up against the door, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had him up against the door, but he got away. Okay. Get, uh, let's get away. Give me... I guess both of them will try and tackle the door and get it open. Okay. Yeah, so they they are able to get... the One is able to get the door open. Um, get And then they both move to attack <laughs> Rex. Well, hello, gentlemen. Uh, so they... Uh... <laughs> They do have multi-attack. Okay, and pack attack. Shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Oh, God. Uh, the first one does like the a worst. Uh, 14 hit. Uh, that's dead on, yeah. Uh, so then an 18 hits. Uh, 15 hits. And 20 hits. Okay. You got it. Let's see if I can live through this. You're I put right. a lot of hit, a lot of points and hit points. Oh boy. Uh, plus <sighs> eight. So this is going to be great. It's going to be just like the time that Rex, I. It was uh, nice to never know you. Exactly. Well, no, it's exactly like the Ravnica campaign where I always have one HP. Two damage. It's oh. four different attacks. You take twenty-two. That's damage. perfect. Okay, that's fine. I'm at seventeen. All Let's right. do this. And that is your turn. Or that is the thug's turn. Rex, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, my cunning uh, action to get the fuck out. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I think that's the one that lets me... What are the different cunning actions again? Uh, Dodge. Disengage. Disengage. Yeah, that one. Um, I'm going to disengage and I'm going to... Uh, is there anything uh, close that would allow me to climb the uh, building around me? Yeah, if you go, like, 15 feet, there's a little box that'll let you get up. Okay, I start climbing, because I actually, uh, my yeah, movement's box, not like slowed climbing. So you can climb the crate, and that gets you up, so you can reach the roof of the building and, and get away. Okay. Yeah, uh, so with exactly. second story work, uh, climb no longer costs you extra movement, and when you make, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be like, bye, and, uh, keep going. Okay, uh, the, the guys are gonna check, so Max is... Rex is gone. The guys are going to yeah. check on their buddy who got stabbed uh, and make sure that he's doing okay. They're going to patch him up. Alan, oh, wait. Are they staying out there? Are they staying out there? Uh, for the like next out, like, six the seconds, they are. <laughs> Enough time for me to he's notice there. it and throw a dagger. Um, <laughs> Alu, what are you doing on your turn? Alu is just observing this. As long as, like, she's kind of like, meh. She okay. noticed him take the bell, so she knows he doesn't have the map. And she, like, she doesn't give oh, her right. crap I have, I, I have the map. Never mind. I'm going to throw a dagger at them. The map. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the map. <laughs> uh, so then then uh, we'll be out of combat. And the guys, for the, their turn, they're going to come back into the door. 
Oh, into the burning building? Yeah, get his... Well, it's a fire on the floor. The the bartender's grabbing some water, and they've got some sand that they're using to put it out. I thought the dock word would be flammable. Like, everybody spills their drinks there. Like, I thought that thing would go up it, like a tinderbox. It box. is flammable, but because of that, people have ways to protect their business. Their, their fires are not strangers, so they, they have sandbags and stuff. Very unfortunate. Okay. Um, the, the, the guys will set their buddy down in a booth, um, and kind of patch him up because he, he did take a dagger to the throat. Uh, so he's, he's hurt, but, uh, it looks like he's going to be okay. Good thing he'll never speak about me again. <laughs> I'm That's still a smoker. True. What's, what's happening now? So I feel like Alu probably would go back into the tavern. Like, she's pretty much done with these jokers. She, like, they don't really know anything much. They got the map from the other dude. Was Rex able to overhear who they oh, I wasn't it paying. From? I wasn't paying attention okay. to anything they said. I was just looking for a piece of paper. Okay. So Alu's probably just going to, like, she's going to go in and then out the front after, like, saying ta-ta to her mentor. Oh, wait. And... Um, can I... If I, so I, how long is it going to take me before? I actually wanted to like see, look at my piece of paper, and if I notice it's not uh, yeah, the it's map, not, it's not the map. I want to run back to the building, the edge of the built roof, and if Alu's there, uh, still, I'm going to be like, Psst. hey, hey, you, hey, it's like I'm going to lean over the edge, like I'm on my <laughs> belly, hey, hey, you, you just see like a jester's mask come over, hey, Alu will look up and be like, what? <laughs> So, I got the wrong thing. It's a bill. Can you, uh, <laughs> mind helping somebody out? We can split it. Job's good. I'm just supposed Ali... to pick up, I'm just supposed to pick up maps. Ali wants information. She wants to know, who hired you? She doesn't want any, like, she's like, you can keep the money, I don't care, but who hired you? And, sure, I'll lift the map off these jokers, basically. Oh, no, no. See, like, I don't only ask my employer's names, so... I mean, even if they would offer it, I tell them, you know, you're you're anonymous. I won't remember your name anyways. Any data that they rem that he would remember at all? What race were they, Cameron? Your employer. Where they met. You yeah. know, you know that it was someone dressed uh, in dark clothing. They were pretty covered up, but you saw a Zentarum tattoo on their arm. Were they human? Humanoid. 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 Like they didn't have like tentacles for hands or something. Like when no. they passed me the paper. No, nope. weren't wearing gloves and like they're all bullshit. Okay, good. They were like a human or an elf or something. With yeah, their yeah. hands backwards. Yeah, they were someone with five digits. <laughs> yeah, with That's, a roughly yeah. humanoid shape. You have six fingers on your left hand. Uh, your mentor is cleaning up the fire. They're the one that actually reacted and put it out. Um, again, someone who's had a thieving past, they kind of, they 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 knew the drill. They were like, huh, wonder what that was about. It just happens all the time. In the dot uh, boards, it does. So I'm like, could you, you want to work together? Like, I mean, I already did I mean, some of the work. If he's going to go back there and drink, I mean, he's going to bleed out. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. I can, I mean, I can reverse the inside of my in outfit. There. I got more mask. <laughs> they might not recognize me. Well, if you have, like, a, a mask on, would a 12 sleight of hand, like, if Alu's thinking, like, that she can be sneaky and, like, just steal the map, but I don't know that a 12 is going to do it while they're distracted by his, uh... The, uh they, if anything, they're more vigilant now. They, someone just tried to steal from them and stabbed one of them. They're, they don't, with a 12, okay, so they she probably you, wouldn't you kind of that, start but... to get close, and one of them stands up and holds his hand out. Oh, wait. Like, if I see her going in, I'll be like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay. I got a, I got a, I got a flask of oil here. I can pitch that onto the roof. It'll be just like the fire spread from inside. Somebody missed some, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good distraction. No. Actually, wait. Do they have a chimney? Cameron, do they have a chimney? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, they, they have oh, a kitchen, shit. so they probably have a chimney. How far, how far apart are these roofs? Are the roofs? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you need to, like, it, it's a 
small alley, so you could make a jump. Oh, this is perfect. I'm like, you get ready. He's not ready. on the streets. He's you flying. Ready for what? So now let's find out if I can make the jump. <laughs> so, Alo, this yeah. maybe this insane person is trying to burn down the bar that your mentor works at. What are you? What are you feeling about this situation? She's not gonna be like cool with the. She like needs more information because she's not gonna let you just burn down the mermaids. The mermaids. What tail? Mermaids tail. Mermaids arms. Thank mermaids you. tail movie, isn't it? We. Um. While all so, this insanity is happening, we're gonna cut to <laughs> Roland, Fenn, I'm and Holly. Gonna, like, try to like reel him in the way she tries to reel in Holly, because she's like, "Don't be crazy." Yeah. While while all that is going on, uh, Fenn, Holly, and Roland, you guys are uh, heading down into the dock ward. You just crossed into the dock ward on Snail Street. What are What are you up to? Oh, that's a Snail Street. Oh, it's a yeah. Snail Street. Um, you do so, know. I guess I don't know. Would Alu? Would they know where you went? Did you say like I'm going to the Mermaid's um, Arms? I think that they know that I frequent the Mermaid's Arms. That I wouldn't have kept secret just so that they could find me. But other than that, no, I don't like. But I'm still there. So, so I think what we would be doing is we would start walking down towards the dock ward here. But I'm discussing it with with. Ben and Holly, I'm like, guys, we got to give this guy something to show that we're working on it because that boss of his is not really someone to be fucked, is not we someone need... to be fucked with in that manner. <laughs> Maybe another manner for some of us. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, Holly. But yeah, cause they would be able to know because Wilhelm, at the very least, would know. We need to give them. We need to give him something. Otherwise, we're screwed. We might be able to take his henchman, but if that guy shows up on his in person, we're not even going to have a building anymore. Yeah, as as you all are walking, you hear kind of the same same sort of mutterings um, that everyone else is hearing. But you you do hear some locals as you're walking down Snail Street talking about um, you hear the, the talking about these strange elves, and they kind of give Fen a weird look. And they, they, you hear someone muttering about, uh, you know, these newfangled foreign criminals that aren't like the respectable local uh, mom and pop criminals that, you know, have been upholding the dock wards economy for decades. Uh, and maybe someone needs to go rooting out what needs rooting out. Rooting out. Bring down the big corporations here. Rooting out. We're like. We're, we're like breaking the mob. Is that what we're doing here? Holly Reeves wants to stop one of them and say, excuse me, sir, I'm sorry. Did you say foreign criminal? He, he kind of looks at you and looks at Fen and spits on the ground and says, clearly you know what I'm talking about, and then walks away. Ooh. Fen, do you have family here that we don't know about? <laughs> Uh, no, I definitely don't have any family. If they do, if I do, it's not any family that I know about. I'm a oh. orphan. Yeah, I'm pretty much the only family he's got right now. Right, and that's kind of a. But I would be interested to speak to anybody who might know something about my family. I don't... can I can yeah, I go. can I speculate on this? Sure. Like. I know Fen is pretty dark complected that he like he's a wood elf. Yes, wood elves are normally bronze, but Fen is a is darker pretty hue. very darker hue. If you as close his enough, token you can indicates. see that he is still like that copper bronzy color. But from a just far, like he looks dark. Yeah. He looks almost yeah. obsidian. Yeah. He's got like yeah, more of a sheen than he does anything else. Um Can I like yeah, can I say can I think that he, maybe they think he's something else? Like he like doesn't what? he doesn't look like a wood elf. And I, maybe you're not a wood elf. Did you ever I, think about that? Would I were would you I, adopted? You're just an orphan. So maybe your parents maybe you're not a wood elf and your parents or someone told you that to make you feel better about yourself because what you really are is worse than a wood elf. Worse. A drow. Well <laughs> This is it's the best drow. this is the best that Holly Reeves can Fucking do. Holly. With her, so, with her education, 
Uh, Roland has has moved around a lot as a, as a teenager. Yeah. And he's met a lot of people in in the mercenary and, and soldiering business. Would I know anything about what's going on here? You know, you know, Fen is a wood elf. He like he. Yeah, is I, I know what elf. he is. But I'm talking about outside opinion. When you yeah. first met him, when your sister introduced you to him, you almost hit Fen because you thought some damn dirty dark elf. Okay. Was yeah. Dating it's your so sister. Oh God. Was giving her the old undercommon pork sword. Racist bastard. Yeah. yeah. Roland no, has okay, a lot so, of problems uh, with. It's called the Underdark. I do not. Anyway, <laughs> but I do understand that there is an issue here, and I, I'm guessing that they think he is a different elf than what he is. I think. Do I know? Okay. How much do I know about? I know a lot, yeah, but yeah. I don't know if Fen, or not Fen, if if Roland knows about the situation with the Underdark. The only the only time you've really come into contact directly with uh, Drow uh, was really that one time at the Yawning Portal with the Dancer. And then you, you saw um, she was a Drow in disguise, and you saw uh, her casket had the little hologram yeah. of a Drow addressing her. Those are really the only two times that come to mind. Yeah, so I really don't know a whole lot about why this is, except that they might be mistaking it for something else. Because I know he doesn't look like what he's supposed to look like traditionally. So yeah, that's it's a mystery. I know that I know there's something up with that, but I don't yeah. know what it While is. While you guys are pondering, is there anywhere you want to head to? So, you, who has who has the map? Out of curiosity, I have a receipt. The original map that we had, our or map. our yeah, copy you of never, our never you map. never showed that to Artor because you felt that would piss him off. I believe Alu yeah. had it in her hands last time. Does she still have it? Okay. I think after we were there and after we met him, we probably destroyed it. We wouldn't we wouldn't have held on to that because we don't want him to know that we were following. Even though he asked ourselves. you to find who where it came from, you destroyed it. Well, I mean, we just don't want him to know that we were following it. I mean, that's probably, we wouldn't have, I wouldn't have just done that without the group consensus. So whatever. Yes. The group yeah. Thinks, so what, what do you guys had. think? Would you have destroyed this map or would you have kept it to try and use it for clues? I'm of the opinion we would have kept it because yeah. we would have kept it because he's on an information gathering. Yeah. There's that mark on it. There's that yeah. stamp, that, that UV light stamp. Yeah. The that, brow stamp. Well, yeah, so, whatever it is. So if Alu wasn't comfortable holding on to it, who would have held on to it? I mean, Ollie was comfortable holding on to it, but she wouldn't have brought it to the docks. Okay, so Ollie doesn't oh, have it on home? her. Would would you guys have no. brought it to the docks, or would you have kept it at home? If it was in Alu's room, I don't. I wouldn't have gone in there, so I wouldn't have. Ali Reese would have easily gone in there and grabbed the map. Yeah. She doesn't care. Okay, so uh, right now, where are the three of you heading? I mean, we're, go we're we... going down Snail Street, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we do know that she frequents the, the tavern. Yep. So we might poke our heads in to see if she's there, but then move. I would want to move on to the dock or the like, actual docks proper to see if we can't. Sure. Because it smells like brine, and I feel like the strongest scent of brine will be at the, the, the docks proper. Yeah, okay. So you guys are still heading down. Uh, we're going to flash back to Alu and Rex. Rex is... Basically telling Alu he wants to burn down this bar. And Alu, what, yeah. are, you, what are you doing? Uh, Alu is going to strongly but kindly discourage this. She wants more information. Like, we're going to have a conversation about, like, so we talked about who hired you. I got a little bit of information on that. That's great. She wants to know where you want to go, like, where you're going. And, like, if you know just, why just you're hired know. to find this map. Well, I'm not, like, so I'm not looking for specific him? maps. I'm just supposed to collect maps, like. Like, I found a oh. lot of them down in the dock ward where, like, you know, people were getting on boats. Like, those guys need tons of maps. You see You're all the maps. You're stealing, like, all maps, not just this specific treasure map? You know, I don't really remember if the employer told me there was a specific map I'm looking for. So I've just been getting every map I can get my hands on. <laughs> you know? So, um, anyways, are those guys still in there? Can you just peek yeah. inside real quick and tell me if they're still in there? Got clean enough to throw? 
Well, oh, so, okay. So if you guys have been having this conversation where I am, I'm imagining, correct me if I'm wrong, Rex, you have something ready to toss in the chimney, and I was just trying to... Oh, did I make it across it. already? I haven't rolled an acrobatics check or a, or a athletics check to see if I can jump it. Okay, then then if you haven't made if you haven't made the jump yet while you Well, I would do it while I'm still talking to her. I would just, you know, get ready. Okay, yeah, then make your check. Acrobatics or athletics? Uh, I don't know which one's is jumping. Fine. Okay. Let's go. Dear God, I fall. Yeah, you <laughs> you fall wow, that was and uh what is it? it's not super high. Let's call it a D four. Damage? Every ten feet is one d six. Yeah, every ten, every 10 feet, feet is one d six. Oh, okay, then we're gonna take a. But do rogues have anything that prevents them from uh, taking more falling damage? It's they used to. Fall. No, but they don't so. anymore. Yep. No, okay. Six cool. damage. I uh, hit the ground face first, and I'm like, I'm good. I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and I uh, I started trying to free climb the outside of the building to get up to the chimney. Yeah. So in the time that it takes all this to happen, all of the I guys pop my shoulder have, back in. The guys have left the the, uh, the front. Uh, you turn around and they're just not there anymore. Got it. So she's gonna be like out the front. Oh, they went out. She's gonna tell you that they went out the front, or yeah, that they're not in the bar anymore. We're gonna assume that there's only one other That's way out. Such a good the point. Front. So. You, I assume that you would just like, I would be like, I think you should like stay on the roofs and just follow them. And she'll, she'll go yeah, through. Yeah, you know, oh, like, seems fine. He uh, uh, pulls out, um, well, he's going to try to free climb first. Can I, can I free climb up the side of the building? Sure. Uh, do you want, which one, what do you want for that? Give me another acrobatics. Perfect. Let's just, come on, that one. Let's do this. Yeah, ah, okay, we make get it. up there just fine. Good. Just like the first time. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna like follow them, like crawling across the roofs. Follow who? Um. So the first people that I see who th I think look remotely close to the people who had the map, I'm gonna follow them. Okay, give me a, give me a. You know what? I'm gonna roll to see. You don't even. It doesn't matter whether I pass or fail. You just do it behind the scenes. Yeah. I'm following whoever. They're gonna yeah. die. Okay. Rex. Rex goes and follows <laughs> some people. Yeah, I, I don't try to get a wound in their neck. I'm, I'm not even going to pay attention if the neck already has a wound. Yeah. Uh, Probably chug the healing potion I, through that extra yeah. hole. So Rex, Rex wanders off, and about the time when he wanders off is when Roland, uh, Holly, and Fen show up at the front of the... the uh... I do hope they see copious amounts of blood there, most of it being mine, and like a crater where my, I landed. Well, they're Swan at the front dive door. They're not at the back door. Oh, okay. Well, they come out the back. I yeah. Just Roland, you guys, you I guys have shown up at the bar, uh, the mermaid's bar, uh, arms. Alu, do you usually stand in the middle of the street in front of an alleyway full of blood? Yes. Well, I, I was at the back, and I thought you guys were coming in through the front. So I think we need to like verify what's going on. Huh? <laughs> I, I I was in the back. And it sounded to me like Cameron said you guys were coming in through the oh, front. Oh, I thought you were standing like in an alleyway or something. In the back. She's in the back. Oh, okay. You can yeah, come I have, in and you I have... see her on the other side of the building oh. out the door. She's just standing at a front. I have intentionally not been paying attention because I shouldn't know what's happening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I the second Rex like disappears, Ollie's going to like go back inside, basically say goodbye to her mentor. And so I assume as you guys get there, I'll, like I'm walking so, inside from the back. So your your uh, mantra mantra as you're leaving, he says, uh, "You know something popped in my head. Uh, if you're looking for a map, like we've got, there's all sorts of shops that you could go check out. There's Z ball <laughs> trinkets. There's the cartographer's shops. You know you could you could go find a map there." Cameron, how many of those have I hit? How many cartographer's shops have you gone into? Yeah, have I hit? Like, have I have I basically held up uh, for their I, random map? As a, at this point, you haven't done any, but maybe. Oh, I would have been doing it. Strike. No, I I would have already been doing that if my if I've been employed for more than a few hours. 
Okay, didn't you sure. just arrive you've here in a box? A, you've hit up a cartographer shop. Okay. I just want to arrive here in a box. Uh, not a box. Okay. There's anyway. a fantastic transportation system around the city. Yeah. So, okay. what uh, what are you all doing now? Okay. So she went in, talked to her mentor. She has now walked out into the street. You all. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm yeah. We're okay. we're meeting okay. now. You guys are either coming in or I'm going out the front. Okay. So. I'll just so I'm going to tell you that we need to go find this uh, shoe smith, Finn or Finn or what? like the <laughs> cobbler. You oh a cobbler? Okay. Where but where is this I'm cobbler? Ambiguous. Because we have uh, kind of a deadline on this on this map hunting business. Um, just to remind you, uh, we have a representative of our employer at our place right now. And we need to show him some progress in four, three and a half hours. I don't know. Uh, Probably like two. You don't happen to have any leads on this, even at all? I have leads, just not answers. Okay. You mentioned a cobbler. So, yep, we're going to talk, talk to the cobbler. Do you know where this cobbler is? I mean, I assume that. Well, actually, let's do like a history or something sort of check. You, they said he was on Ship Street. Yeah, they were specific, but I'm wondering if like Alu knows that area well enough to like know exactly where to go. You, there's a couple of cobbler shops. It, it won't take you more than twenty minutes to go check out the ones for. Let's for split up, gang. I think. Um, it always probably, works out too well for us. Yeah. Really. So, okay. Uh, uh, so, well, I mean, we so, can go up and down Ship Street, like up up one side and down another side, looking for cobbler shops on here. Yeah, yeah. No, you'll. I mean, you you find it uh, eventually. You you find a couple different ones. And Alu, do you remember the name that was suggested to you? Finn. Like it was Finn or. It no, it was. I mean, I took notes on it. You said it was Fien or Spien or something yeah. like that. You, you yeah, it was to know a the couple name. Of different cobbler shops. There's no one that sounds like that. But then eventually, uh, you find a shop with a gentleman named Ian as the owner. <laughs> We're like, oh hey, that's that funny. Is, uh, just so you know, that is what it says in the module. Huh. So my name actually fit into D and D. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, Rex, during this time, you have been tailing uh, this group of guys. Yeah, and if I see any Loxodon, I'm gonna hop on the uh, the bus. Uh, there are no there are no Loxodon in Waterkeep. Ah, uh, what was I in then? What were you in? Yeah, I thought I was riding around the Loxodon's uh Loxodon's uh uh bag. No, I was mostly just ignoring you until uh, you went to the doctor. No, <laughs> so unfortunate. That's you, unfortunate. You were in a Goliath bag. Okay, that's fine. That's good. At least there's something big. Although I love the crate idea. I didn't think about that, Nate. Um, we're doing that next. That's okay. what I kind of thought. So yeah, but like. Well, we're amazing. on our way to Ship Street, and we're wandering around Ship Street. Um, Alu wants to know if any of her little, like, children messengers might have some information that they've found at the same time. Yeah, they. Uh, they tell you about uh, the person to ask about maps. Uh, they suggest to go talk to uh, Serpentile Books and Folios. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cameron, I'm going to assume that I lost whoever I was uh, searching for. I'm no, surprised because you them already. You, you have been... Uh, Following them, and you see them enter a cobbler shop on Ship Street. Shit. Okay. <laughs> um, does it have any windows? It does have windows. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna, uh, take off my, uh, well, I'm gonna go down an alley around the building. Okay. Uh, while, while you're doing that, uh, what's everyone else doing? We need to go in and check out the Ian guy, right? Yeah. All right. Let's 
Let's go in and see what we find. Um, Alu, I think you should have your your extra special UV light cantrip ready. So mm -hmm. we can, I mean, try and match the insignia somewhere. Can we do that discreetly? I don't know. Rex, what is your passive perception? Uh, 12. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so you, you guys are looking for the sigil. You don't see anything like that. But Ian will come up and he's like, can I help you? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Uh, Holly, what are we looking for? Uh, we are looking for a certain map. We keep hearing this rumor about treasure or something that oh, everyone else a map. is looking for. Ian, Ian smiles and uh, he says, yeah, if, if you've got five gold pieces, I can get you a map. Okay, sure. Five gold pieces. Tell you gold pieces, you'll tell us where you got it. Huh? <laughs> he goes, he goes uh, behind the counter and uh, you see him shuffle around and then he pulls out uh, a piece of paper and hands it to Holly. And since Holly, the mooch and, you know, a obliterator of personal space has taken the map out of Holly's yeah. room. He says just she can compare them. Yeah, he says just be careful. Uh, there's there's been some run-ins with people following the map and some different smuggling operations that have been happening in the dock ward. Um, but so, so if you're looking to compare the maps, mm -hmm. um, it's different. It's laid out differently than yours, uh, but it does show the sigil up when uh, the light spell happens. At the very end of it, does it basically end up in the graveyard regardless? Yes. Uh, and it is okay. at this point in time when uh, two of the people that Rex has been following, um, no one has a high, passive perception score of 15. Uh, so they uh, pull out their crossbows and shoot Ian in the back twice and he slumps over. Oh shit. Wait, well, there's people in this uh in this place? Yes. I guess we're not, not any more ones here. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were being I sneaky. That's why I asked what your passive perception was. Let's yeah, nobody has initiative. 15. Shit, okay. Uh actually I would have done some stuff in the alleyway. I is that okay? Can I do a few more things in the alleyway? So the people you are following are the same people who are I just wanted to I have different mask. I was gonna put on a different mask and my 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 jester like shirt i turn it inside out and it's blue instead of red yeah that's fine and uh <laughs> put that on and uh then i get out my little mandolin and i'm uh or my little lute and i'm playing in front of the store not even noticing that they're just lighting the place up okay Oh boy, I rolled a six. So the people that Rex was following were actually like the same people that end up at the same shop? Yep, turns like it. He was following apparently two people that felt like uh, a crossbow needed to go into the uh, back of Ian. And Ian, Ian looks like he's dying. He He's not dead, but he needs help. And we're all dying. One way or another every episode and Ian dies. <laughs> I will show you the Wait. excerpt of this from the thing, Ian. I swear I'm not making this up. He, yeah, he's not making. <laughs> that just makes it better, honestly. We yeah. should. Someone should gross. stay here and and heal uh, this poor bastard. Uh, the rest of us should go after these two guys. Actually, uh, we're ready to go. Shoot them and then take off. I thought they were still here. No, I thought that's here. why we're. Yeah, that's why we're here. We're gonna have a fight in this store. Um, can we run? No. If I see them initiative. unloading um, Holly, while I'm playing my... Fed? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Um, sorry. If I see them start unloading, um, I just want to drop like my ball bearings all around them. You can do that on your... Well, you're okay. outside the building. You're outside? I am. So basically, I wanted to block the entrance with ball bearings. Jesus. Okay. He's like a fucking ninja. That is the plan. So did these guys come in behind us or in the back entrance? They came in the front entrance behind you, but you didn't notice them come in. And then they shot this dude. So like this guy's behind us and they're on the other side. Blocking Holly, what was the your 
initiative? Wait. Uh, she hasn't rolled yet. Alu, have Is... you rolled twice? No, I just rolled yeah, once. Yeah, I rolled a six, she rolled a 20, and gotcha. uh, Rex rolled a 21. I haven't, I haven't rolled initiative yet. Can then... you do that for me? Yeah. Sorry. Should Fen do that too? Yes, you should. Yes. You're here. When yes. I say, here. can you roll initiative? What I generally mean is, can you please roll initiative? Roll initiative. Yeah. No, no you did. We're we are currently fighting in a map shop right now. Wow. Or at least, or, or as you least, uh, actually, you might be going first there, buddy. Yeah, it's actually, not a map shop anymore. It's a uh, vacant property. Well, we'll be soon. He's not yeah. dead yet, Rex man. So, all right, Fen. Oh, uh, Ian, what is this? And Rex, you guys have the same initiative. You both have, have plus a... threes. Uh, we'll go. Fen will go first because he's inside the shop. He can react slightly faster. Uh, again, theater of the mind, so you don't have to worry about distances and things like that. What's Fen doing? Fuck. I don't know. Um. Return. Return arrows. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, it's a shootout. We're gonna have a yeah. We're gonna have a old school western shootout inside this map room. Yeah, I mean, I don't at this point. Yeah, that's my biggest skill. So let's just attack with my damn longbow because I don't have any other. Keeping in mind that you know crimes, you know, are crimes. Maybe don't kill them. Well, <laughs> they did start shooting the place up. We're kind of defending ourselves, like yeah, and I. I just want to, like, that's all. I just want to remind, yeah. like, a little bug in the air to remind everyone to, like, be yeah. like, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I think yeah. everybody, you probably, really shouldn't yeah. just indiscriminately kill people. Fen yeah. is confident that it's, uh, it's a, you know, self-defense slash, you know, keeping the peace. Sort. Well, you, would you still have blunted arrows from our body snatching heist? I don't know. I don't have them in my active inventory, but I don't know that I would have added them. Should I have those, do you think? Uh, I mean, I don't know how, how specific you want to keep bookkeeping. Oh, but... yeah, you definitely, you got some of those during that session. During the, mm -hmm. you were on the roof with them. Yeah, you, lose, we had you. Say, like, lose 20 arrows and add 20 blunted arrows. Yeah, that makes sense. You made yourself a set. That's fine. All right, well, when I can use those, would that be like a... Um, same uh, damage. You, you treat them the same. Your damage They'll do the same, is non -lethal. Do the same amount of damage, just treat it as bludgeoning and not piercing. Okay, yeah. I'm not even going to cast anything for now. I'm just going to do a straight yeah. up... I don't know how much how much these guys are worth. It might not be worth using, burning a spell slot for these guys. Until yeah, all right, so that's a 27 for me, I guess. Yeah, you know, that that... There we go. Yeah, okay. Um, cool. Then roll damage, I guess. That's a D8 yeah. for a yeah. D8 plus one, one D8 plus three. All right. Bear with me as I set that up. Mm -hmm. Max Whoa. damage. Damn. Hell yeah. yeah. Nice uh, job. I, I assume which one are you targeting? Uh, the one, honestly, the one furthest from me, probably. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to do? Um, is anyone close to me, like within like melee range? Right do now, you know? no. But yeah. you can move to get in melee range. No, I want to stay at this point a little bit without outside of melee range, since I'm like killing it with my bow. So I don't want to like invite. So I, I envision yeah. this uh, like for Fen. I envision this kind of like a gunfight. You're like <laughs> yeah. crouched yeah. behind a, behind a, a yeah, counter. Yeah. counter. In that case, so Rex, it is your turn. So uh, I'm out with my loot in front of the store. I'm yeah, looking in hear, through the window. You hear someone scream, and you hear some shouting, and you see uh, this some guy slumped over, and your targets are in the middle of a shootout with some people as Perfect. other patrons are kind of hiding beneath the shoe shelves. Oh, there's other people. Okay, uh, so I'm still playing my loot, and I'm going... I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. And I'm taking my ball bearings behind the loot yeah. and just pouring them all in front of the door. Sure. And, uh, you know, then I'm going to circle around the building yeah. as far as just I can go. Sure it more difficult. To try to get to the back door. Yeah, you're about halfway there to the back door. Uh, I do have a bonus action that I can use for a dash. Yeah, go so ahead. I, okay, so you I mean, I'll, there to the I'll back book door. it. <laughs> you're, you're at the back door now. Yeah, I want to be standing at the back door with uh, daggers in hand. Okay. That door opens. Somebody's getting a shanking. 
All right. No, no, I'm just prepping an action to put a dagger in that anybody on the other side of the door. All right, Alu, it is your turn. Okay. Maybe Alu can use some of her new abilities. Wow. <laughs> that was not awesome. Uh, you do still hit. Uh, oh, cool. Which one were you targeting? Um, I think she probably would focus on the the dude that hasn't been hit yet. Okay. Roll your damage. Uh, and it's 1d4 plus... Uh, 1d6 plus 2. Yeah, 1d6. Your psychic, your psychic blades do more damage. Your d6. Why? Um, okay, so on my... Oh, okay, that's because it's bonus action. That is why. Okay, sorry. Looking in the wrong place. Two. Plus one d six plus two. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right things. New abilities, everyone. Sorry. Got Four. It. So that was your action. Are you doing anything as your bonus action? Um. Yes. Yeah, so I can, with my bonus action, I can also attack again. Yeah. Go ahead. I think that when I take it as a bonus action, so that's one of the things that I'm a little unsure about because this is all new. So, like, if I take it as a bonus action, is it the same, or do I then go to the one based off my strength check? No, so so I, what I see on your page is you have actions, and you can do psychic blades, attack dexterity. That's what you just mm -hmm. did. And then you go to bonus yep. actions, and you have psychic blades, bonus act, attack, and there it's still plus four. Okay, because I've got the attack with dex and attack with strength, so I wasn't sure if, like, one was regular attack and one was bonus attack. I just wanted to be sure, so I'm not doing the wrong thing. So no, basically, I just get to again. It sounds like you can choose. I Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's because, like, some people, their dex Prefer is stronger. Strength, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You Eight. do not hit. This, this one goes wide. Mm -hmm. She's still working on, you know, controlling her abilities, y'all. Anything else you want to do? Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can do? Um, I think... Uh, I'm wondering... So, like, Alu can, as, like, a cunning action, can she hide? And is she able to hide, like, this cobbler at the same time, like, in her action? Can she kind of, like... You get him out of the action in your bonus action. Um, I'll call it curious. a free interaction with the environment. Sure, you can you can kind okay. of pull the cobbler in next to you into some shelves. Um, you, you're considered hidden for the purpose of this turn. Okay, cool. All right, Holly Rees, it's your turn. Okay. Um. I want to. Which one is hit? What? Which one is hit? Which one is did Fen? Oh, they're they're both hurt now. They're yeah. Fen hit the one on the right. Uh, Alu hit the one on the left. The guy on the right. What is? Did she wants to tackle, tackle the guy on the right? She's there. Yeah. Yeah, Attack the guy on the right, you but you're remember muffled. that you are a wizard. I know, but we. Can't Kill them. Okay. We need information. Yeah, you, can, you can try and tackle the guy on the right. Make a strength uh, athletics or... Uh, Wait, Holly. Say... Holly. Yeah, grab Do you there. have color spray? Okay. Probably not. I was going to say, that's like the best... I mean, it's you basically have mace. You ray of frost if you're trying to slow someone down. Yeah, but you can't do non-lethal damage with spells. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. You can tackle. You to make a spell that does non-lethal. Be cool. That little punching. Zeroth level super epic punch. You managed to tackle this guy. <gasps> now, Great. yes. Nice job, Holly. Surprise. And she's going to say, Who sent you? Who do you work for? Mercy. Okay, I'll let him respond on his turn. Is there anything else you want to do? No, she's just gonna say, "Stay down." Okay, <laughs> he's just you... like straddling him. Read him the code well, he's legal. Not, he's not. Prone. He enjoys that. 
you've just you've tackled him, but he's not prone on the ground. Oh, I want to like saddle him. You've ta- you've tackled <laughs> him. <laughs> Let's say um, he'll make he'll make a strength saving throw to see if he's not prone. How about that? Uh, what is what is your strength modifier? Well, yeah. I, I don't know why I'm asking. I'll look it up. Abilities. Zero. Okay. Uh, you tackle him, and you do tackle him, but he's able to stay standing. Okay. So it's his turn, um, and he will respond to your question with two attacks of his mace. Uh, okay. Actually, first the his buddy is going to come over and then he will make his attacks uh does a 12 hit no how about oh an 18 hits you're you're a wizard right (laughs) you're a wizard holly just say it doesn't then you have to check your character sheet to see if it's true (laughs) so you lie to the dm it always works uh you take six damage. Okay. Little did That's you know like that earlier, life. her slutty clothes were full plate mail and a shield. I mean, <laughs> uh, <video game> logic, <laughs> that's about as armored as you could possibly be. Uh, he's yeah. a little panicked. Uh, his buddy has come over to help him out, um, and they are going to swing with their short sword at you. Uh, they're not going to worry about taking a cutting action. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, and that hits. Okay. Four plus six. You take ten damage. I might be dead. You're not dead. You're unconscious. You are down. You're down. You're un- you unconscious. You'll be making yeah. death saving throws in the next round. Uh, just, roll just it. like it's your turn. Okay. I see this, and I'm like, oh, that's not gonna fly. I are these guys together? Like, yeah, they're both like, beating they, up on Holly. They're okay, so they're both like within reaching, like striking distance, yes. yeah, melee range. All right, I am gonna go ape shit on them. Um, I am going to come in, turn like I'm still, I'm still rationalizing. Like I'm gonna turn my glaive over to the blunt side of the of the blade. Sure. And I'm just gonna start wham, start taking heads and and like start whacking at the back of heads and and yeah. stuff. I'm gonna attack. Um, I want to the guy who stabbed her yep. first. Sure. Okay. Um, all right. I think it's a plus. It's still a plus five. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. That's you a 14. Hit. Cool. I'll roll for damage on that real quick. I reroll. I'm going to use my uh, great weapon fighter thing to reroll ones and twos. Sure thing. Much better. That's seven slashing, but bludgeoning damage. Yep. Um, bonus action to do to attack him again with the blunt side. Yes. Cool. Um, that is a bunch. That's 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right. That's going to be a D4 plus three. Um, that is six more bludgeoning damage to that guy. Sure thing. How does he look in, based on the two hits that I hit him with right there? He looks then? hurt. He looks pretty hurt. Okay. So I, throat. I am going to then action surge and attack again, but the other guy this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna sure try thing. and get both of their attentions. Now you're fight now you both are fighting me. Sure thing. Cool. Um all right, attacking with the regular uh blunt blunt blade side. Natural not one. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, well I'm gonna at least try and make my swipe known. Um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, cool. I swipe known. Fen, yes. Is there you anything else to do it on your turn? By. And I'll um uh I've moved so I've moved up to the to melee. Well, I've moved up to reach melee with them. I'm like I'm gonna yeah. try and be like yeah. ten feet away on this and just wailing on them. Yeah, you're you're, um, are you able to away like at all? you're at a CVS and you're swinging your halberd across the aisle down mm-hmm. at them from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, uh, and I'm just going to try and pull their attention away from Holly. And I'm going to say, um, Alu. Yo. Get, I know you got some healing juice. 
get on both of these people. Healing hands. Yeah, give them one apiece. Yeah, one apiece. Uh, Fen, it's your turn. King okay. of. Everybody um, gets. I have one question before I start. I know I always do. Um, is my are my spells bonus actions typically? The it spell description will are. yeah. Unless otherwise indicated, a spell is usually an action, but I will say that both your Zephyr and your Hunter's Mark are bonus, bonus actions. actions. Got it. I see it now. Okay. Okay, and I can repeat that for every... You can turn. repeat that ad nauseum, so okay. long as they're within 30 feet of you. you can... I'm going to go ahead and use that because it doesn't cost me anything. Really. Yeah, just your bonus action uh, yep. use, that's all. Okay, so that adds what? That adds... That'll be an extra eight, D, D1 D8 of force damage, so Assuming long as you I hit, hit this guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I roll a hit on the guy that's got the that's looking the worst. Yep. Yes. Okay, and that's going to be... It's my longbow. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it'll be... D20 plus dex plus proficiency D20 plus, plus archery. D20 plus 7, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Looks pretty it promising. All right, there it is. Oh! Still. still. Half a second. You hit, yeah. you hit him. Oh, good. All right. So roll 2d8. Yep. And then add 3? Two. 2. 3, 3. Yep. 3. Okay. All right. Oh, that's one. Let me roll another one. That's yeah, just fine. roll another one. one. And then one. There you go. Okay, okay and then... So you take... Uh, yeah, I think you only add the three once. Yeah, only add the three um, once, so it'll be... Six plus eight five plus... is 11. You... Yeah. Uh, these are blunted, right? So you, you yes. do knock him out. I would like to think that this is kind of like... It hits him, but then it pff, like concussively hits, like... Pops him in the back of the head. Yeah, I imagine you blunted the tip, but you also wrap like a bag of sand around the front or something to a beanbag arrow. Yeah, essentially. Because otherwise, like that's still a lot of force for oh, a yeah. object to hit someone in the head. Um, exactly. Anything else you want to do, Fen? Um, I've got distance from everybody, right? There's no one like within melee range of me. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna stay outside of melee range for now, so I'm I'm good. Wait, All no, right. no wait. I'm I want to cast Hunter's Mark on the next guy who's got. That's Most? a bonus action. That'll be right? that'll be your next you, turn. Every, you every already, turn you already yeah. did. Uh, uh, you use your bonus action to do planar warrior to add the. Planar warrior is planar. Okay, I didn't yeah. realize. Okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. That's the first right. I just think that uh, your planar warrior will be your default bonus action yeah. unless you're going to cast a spell. Rex, it's your turn. Got okay, it. so uh, I'm at the back door. I'm just going to get impatient and open this thing up. What do I see? The back door is locked. An ass woman. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I guess I'm going to break it down. How do I, uh, what do I need to Give roll? Give me an athletics check. Oh, perfect. I'm digging this Rex guy. He's fucking not, a one. Like oh, a not a one. Not a one. Not a one. Are you, you really give it a good shove, but it actually doesn't break down. Well, we would hear that, wouldn't we? Yeah. You uh, hear yeah, a I mean, loud thud. But yeah. also, you hear people <laughs> getting stabbed. Okay, well, um, I'm going to use my bonus action uh, to uh, try to, uh, uh, my, as a cunning action, to basically uh, dash and uh, try to climb up the outside of the building. Yeah, go ahead. This okay. is, it's actually, you don't even need to make a check. Uh, this particular alley is pretty dirty. There's um, uh, Perfect. pallets alongside the wall, so you can almost just use a ladder to just get up there. That's Parkour. great. Um, and I guess when I get up there, like, what's the roof look like? It's thatch. Thatch. Uh, what is that? I actually don't know what that like, is. It's basically like it's high density straw. straw. Yeah. Yeah. High yeah. density straw. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Uh, He's going to set that shit on fire. No, no, no. Well, I mean, I would if you guys weren't in there. I'm going to met a game of little and not burn the building down that you guys are in. Thank you. So, you know, like this campaign to continue. Anything else you want to do? <laughs> Uh, actually, yeah, I can, uh, well, I'm going to start digging, I, I mean, I have multiple interactions with objects, so I'm going to start digging a hole through the roof. Yeah, you can. There is also, there's not, there's not a chimney, but I mean, this is a cobbler's shop and he doesn't want smoke to mess up like the leather of his boots and stuff. So he did install a skylight. Uh, oh my top. God. Wait, as soon as I noticed that, I stopped rooting around and I'm like, oh. Perfect, and I just uh, I have a hammer for my pittance, and I just smash that in. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, everyone, give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I wouldn't have thought about that anyway, so, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I also didn't think about it, but Rex wouldn't have either, so it's perfect. <laughs> if your character can't remember, then you uh, can't remember. Holly, you auto-fail. What dice is saving throws again? Is that oh, 20? no. D20. It's still a D20. Uh, all, all checks are D20s. Feel it. I like the thatch with the glass. <laughs> Skylight! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Strong glass. Fantasy, man. Alright. Yeah. There's some weird buildings uh, in Waterdeep. Oh, 15, definitely. <laughs> 15 for Roland. Uh, everyone but Roland takes four damage. Fuck you, Which, and Even Paul, though me and the dude are hiding weird. behind a bookcase? Uh, that's... Yeah, how big was you know what, this? Let me, I'm going to flip a coin. It'll either hit Fen and Alu together, or it'll hit Holly and Roland oh, and the guy. If it hits, if it hits uh, Alu, it's going to hit the uh, cobbler as well. I'm going to give yeah. her the opportunity to cover him with her oh, okay. body. Oh, Get good. down, Mr. President. <laughs> it hits Fen and Alu. Alu, would, okay. you hear the glass shatter. So you have a moment to act. Would you okay, yeah. protect him? Protect him. Okay. Uh, uh, then take Fen, you take four damage, and Alu, you take six damage. Uh, just one more thing on my turn, I'm gonna say. You didn't get away from me yet! <laughs> okay. No. Alright. Uh, Alu, it is your turn. This man is oh, dying. Okay. Which man is dying? Oh, okay. A cobbler guy. So, like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Give him one. Do your yeah, I have hands to... <laughs> Defibrillate him. Give him one one point of healing hand. Sure thing and that stabilizes him. I'm gonna move over to Holly. Holly, how much are you negative or are you just like at zero? Uh, so I'm you at, rubber you when you, you die when you go unconscious, you rubber go band. One. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You'll just go to zero. like if when you die, you'll just rubber band back to zero yeah. and let you go. You don't care about negative health except for and when it kills your character. When you exceed, yeah. Got it. When you exceed so I can your give her a point of healing. Yes. Is that an healing action though? Well, can yeah, can you do is, two of those in one action? So that's, that's ASMR. Go to rage. I how you're doing it because I have three points of, like, I can give three points of healing hands before I have to take a long rest. It's a, it says once per long rest <laughs> as an action, touch a creature and restore three hit points. So you can only do it yeah. once, and it just that's heals for free. Yeah. Yeah. So the question yeah. is. Who is more important? Do we stabilize the cobbler or do we save Holly? Oh, I'm thinking of fucking uh, the paladin ability. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Well, in that case, then cobbler's up with three. Well, see, that's the question because I, I wasn't sure about that. So before we like, I thought her thing worked like lay on hands. I'm, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's a one time. It's, it's, so it's Ali, all charge. You have a decision: who do you keep alive and who do you let die? Oh, or no. I, I, who do you keep alive gross. and who do you stabilize manually? This is when you're supposed to ask how old are each of them and like how many kids do they have? Like, no, I have to save Holly. Obviously, <laughs> healing so to Get up. to Holly. You're gonna have to get past. Is there a way to, to stop stabilize the cobbler without um there are other ways to do that yes yeah we can, can do that but we have to fight check. these guys first mm. well make a what check? a medicine Sorry. check actually i do have medicine let well I think in my you can only do I one of these actions like on this turn you'll have to do one and then wait for your next turn to yeah. do the other which one do you want to do okay. first um, i just want to check my i bet you get some great deals on shoes if you save this guy's life I will say that had that falling glass hit the cobbler guy, that would have been what two death saving throw fails. Since yeah, no, it hit me. I also yeah, just he would have, would have died. got a little bit hurt, which means that he's probably worse off than anybody here because he's most likely to die. Most likely to die, no doubt. Even, even now, somehow. Even now, so maybe think about healing him. I mean, I'm really <laughs> close to him. Up yet. <laughs> I don't. Think that that does anything? The no, medicine. That that's a DC ten to see. Yeah. So you you stabilize him. Okay. Not sure. Right, so he stabilized it. Now is that like a bonus action? Like no, a, it's, it's your action. That's an action. Okay. So I can I not attack at all, or I no. can do a bonus no. action. No. Attack. Okay. So when I heal someone, that's basically it for my character. Yes. Yep. 
Okay. For that turn. Nez with, just... Nez with either ability. Yeah. Either, Anything. which either ability? Like your, 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 your check ASMR or your healing, healing or hands. your medicine check. Yeah. Both of those are a full action. Your ASMR okay. healing is like a guaranteed yeah. bam. Now, now create, basically, create. if you can get to Holly on your next turn, then she's Then you can get her, uh, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. my action, but am I also, okay, so. You I, have I, movement I, and you have a bonus action. That, well, that was my question. I was like, that's my action, but do I get a bonus action? And if you have that stuff, if you have like, stuff no. that says it's a bonus action, yes. Then so, I, okay, good. So I can still attack with my bonus attack. Do you, have, I, do you have a bonus attack? I don't think you do. Yeah, I thought the offhand was a bonus action. I have bonus. I have bonus actions for dagger and psychic blades. They're it's, it's versatile when you weapons. you make so. a regular attack, you get yeah. a bonus. You have to oh, attack okay. the other oh, person. You can okay. double up. Okay. Yeah. So can I move Damn to like? Can I move to get to Holly without creating an opportunity attack yes. for yeah. the other? You, you crawl along the aisle around back. You're close to her. You'll be able to get to her on your next turn, no problem. Well, okay. You could use cunning actions to get like right up on top of her. Or you even take a dodge action if you are on top of her already. Yeah. That so, way you're. So yeah. So you get I'm... you get up to Holly <laughs> for this turn. Cool. Anything all else right. you want to do? I, don't think, I think that's about all I can do. All right, Holly Rees, I need you to make a death saving throw. So uh -oh. roll a d20 and add any Constitution modifier you may have. If not, then don't. For you, you roll a d20. Just roll a d20. Oh, good. Great. Gotta be it. I'm just glad Fen isn't the one on like right life. Well, Holly for one thought it was you. a good idea to get into a fist fight with someone, so this, she she brought this. One I love is her. not she a wise that. woman. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Oh, I'm, that's a failed death save throw. Yes, Two so more, and you're gone. Yeah, one failed save. Uh, and Cameron, yeah, is that like two more on like consecutive turns, or you yeah. make all three turns, well, like right. Two things can happen now if she rolls. She can roll potentially another thing below 10, and that's another failed save throw, yeah. and then another one below that. If she rolls a one on her next turn, that's done. Yeah. So, but, uh, one Ali, and you, if you heal her on her next turn, she's fine. That's, yes. That guarantees she doesn't die. That wasn't was my question. My yeah. question was, is she making her. all yeah. of her saving throws right now, yeah. or no. do I have an opportunity yeah. to save you her do. before you she... Yeah. Yeah. The um, only okay. way that she can die now... Is that if those guys I'm fighting turn around and hit her again? No. So, so the guy you're fighting, the one who's still conscious, swings at you, Roland, and his mace bounces off your armor. It's a glancing blow. Uh, oh, okay. It is your turn. Is it okay? Um, I am going to uh, return fire from that guy. Or no? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the guy that that Fen shot at to Fen. He's got that. I'm gonna fight the. I'm gonna fight the other guy. There's only one mm -hmm. guy still standing. There's only one guy now. Okay, then then yeah. he's fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna swing my big old stick at him. Oh my god! Say that, right. dude. <laughs> Sixteen to hit. Cool. Yes. All right. And that is eight bludgeoning damage. Sure thing. He's pretty hurt. Uh, all right. Uh, and then bonus action to go back half. Yep. You hit again. Um, that's another 15. You hit. Yep. And max damage, seven bludgeoning damage. Nice. Sure thing. He looks really hurt. Man, okay. Okay. Doing all the heavy lifting here. But us, your somebody turn. else finish him off. Okay. Fan again. Fan, take him down, buddy. Can I... This is a procedural thing. Can I cast a bonus action <laughs> after I've rolled to hit? Or do I have to do that first or no, after? If, you, if you're if you're rolling yeah. to hit, that's the middle of your attack. You got to do all that stuff. Got yeah. it. Okay. So Hunter's Mark first. I'm casting that. There's one guy left, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's one guy left. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna spend it. So, Hunter's okay. Mark. Yeah, he is marked. Uh, yeah. Uh, longbow again. That's a D10 plus a D6 plus, now. Plus a D6 because yeah. I've got that going. Okay. Yeah, because now you have that going. Okay, man. How do I even set that up? I just I'm gonna do it separately. Um, roll the hit first. Roll the d20 first. Yeah, plus seven. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that definitely nice. fucking hits. Yes. You okay. Do. All right. And you said it was your longbow? Longbow. So that's a d8, right? Yeah, it's a d8 plus two d6. 
plus d6. And what is my bonus on that? I get a bonus. What's my bonus? That'll be plus your deck, so it's being a plus three. Plus three, and then plus three on the other one, too? The d6? No, no, no. Um, raw the, 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 yeah, the d6 is plus just bonus. three and d6. Yes. Yep. Okay, here's my d8. Eight, six, and three. And here right. comes my six. Oh, wait, sorry. That was a plus three. So I'm going to roll a raw d6 now. Yeah, just roll there. raw d6. All right. You knock right. his ass out, too. All right, good. Hell yeah. Out Pick of cool. combat. Can we stay in initiative order? I got some stuff to do. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ninja's got some ideas. Sure. Rex is going next. Yeah, I'm going to drop down onto the counter. And uh, how many maps do I see around me? Masks? On the map. Map. Yeah. yeah, well, like... The guy who just went to go get a map, he got it from somewhere. Do I see wh where he had those maps? Uh, from the counter, you don't. Okay. Uh, then uh, I uh, yeah, go I'll over to... Uh, well, I'm going to run over to the bodies. and uh, They are not dead. They are unconscious. That's so what's in their pockets? Yeah. You find a map on one of them. Holy shit. Okay, so I take that and I dive out the front window. Okay. Do you have When he to... does that, because I'm pretty close to those oh, dead bodies. I have so right? many cunning actions. Like, I'll... I will just disengage all over the damn place. Alright. Would Ali be able to see a, like, a little bit of the map just to see if it looks like every all the other maps out there? Yeah. Do I need to make a check for that? It or? looks like all the other maps. You, you've seen so okay. many at this point, you know. All right, sweet. We're just going to... Ollie's going to let him go. She didn't care. And you then you said you're that. using healing hands on Holly? Yep. So, okay, Holly, you Holly, are you're up in three. Up. Yeah, uh, up. And so Rex has... He dove out of the window. Uh, mm -hmm. Ian uh, struggles to his feet. He's, he's a little unsteady. Um, but he says... Not you, Ian. You. The other Ian. Thank you very much. Uh, and he What says, was that about? Uh, I'll tell you, but it's a long story. And that is where we are going to end today's episode. Oh, what a chaos. What a Come on! Shit. You're welcome, guys. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. Mess. Thanks for playing with us. And Holy uh, crap. we'll catch you all on the next one. And we'll see how the rest of the Dock Ward... Uh, Double cross it, pans out. Yeah. Oh my god. Welcome All to right. Ravnica. Yeah.